Hi Special Agents, Mrs G back again with some arithmetic practice. This is mixed now as this is how you will see it for real in May. So all we need to do is take our time and read each question before we rush ahead and put an answer. Are you ready? So a good Special Agent always reads the question first. 99 add 1. Add 1. Just count on one more. 99 add 1. That's it. 100. Well done. Number three, seven add eight. Seven add eight, so I'm still adding. Okay, now, there are two ways that you can work this one out. You could put eight in your head and count on seven, okay? Or, I, I know that eight is one more than seven. I would use what I know about double seven and add one extra. But if you don't understand that, let's do it the way that we know works. Let's put eight in our head, seven fingers up and let's count on. Eight in our heads, count on. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well done. 15. Fantastic. Number four, 22, add seven. Another add Biggest number is 22, that's what we're going to start counting from. Seven fingers up, are you ready? 22 in your head, seven fingers ready to count on. 22 in our heads, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Well done if you got the answer faster than me, special agents. Excellent work. Five, something equals 15, take away two. So, don't panic. The equal sign means the same as. We need the same number on both sides of the equal sign. We call the equal sign as a balance. So we've got 15 take away 2 on one side and nothing on the other side. Just moved it. They've just moved the answer box to the other side, haven't they? So what is 15 take away 2? 15 subtract 2. We want to subtract. We've got to count back. Two fingers up. Let's take away 2. 15, 14, 13. You will just pop 13 in the box and now we've got 13 on that side and 13 in the circle. Well done. Number 7. 6 multiplied by 2. 6 times 2. So 6 fingers up in counting 2's. Unless you know what double 6 is, okay, I'm going to count in 2's to help you join in if you're ready. 6 fingers up. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Well done. Fantastic. Number 10. 84 add 12 equals what? Remember, when you see squares on a question, you are allowed to use that to show you're working out. So, I would add the 10s and then add the 1s. So, I would do 8 10s add 1 10. 8 add 1 would give me 9 10s. And then the 1s. 4 add 2. So, 8 add 1 is 9 10s. 4 add 2 is 4, 5, 6. To get the answer, 96. Now, you may have wanted to write it out like this. 84 add 10 is 94. 94 add 2 is 96. That's what the squares are there. You can use them if you know what you're doing. Add the 10s, then add the 1s. Well done. Number 14. Half of 14 equals. Now... When we see a fraction, it's the same as the divide sign in maths. A fraction's got a line and something above the line and something below the line, just like the divide sign. So we only divide from the biggest number. So this question can be worked out two ways. You can do 14 divided by 2. You can start with no fingers up and counting 2s. Let's do that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 7, half of 14 is 7, chop, chop. Or, if you can, if you remember how we teach you to learn fractions of another number that we can't count in, you could draw two boxes and share, divide 14 equally between two. Let's have a go at that way. And either way, guys, if your brain is telling you draw the boxes, share it out, because you know that that's how we would work out tougher fractions. Do it that way. Mrs. G does not mind. We can use more than one method now that we're special agents. So, let's share 14 now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And to find one half, we need to count how many dots are in one 
box one two three four five six seven when you see half of something we are dividing it by two and we have to start with the biggest number so half of 14 is seven okay well done number 15 two divided by two this is your two times tables how many twos make the number two get ready to count in twos two <laughs> that didn't take long two divided by two or half of two is one great dividing well done number 18 five times 12 equals now this number has got tens and ones so you could break it down I would in my head think what five times ten is because that's what the one stands for in twelve five times ten is that's right fifty then we've got five times two five times two equals two fingers up counting fives five ten that's right fifty add ten more is sixty well done five times twelve is sixty now you might already just know that five times twelve is sixty because that's where we stop counting in class if you don't that's how you could work it out if you see this and you weren't sure okay number nineteen eighty five take away twenty one equals so we're subtracting we've got to count back we want to subtract now this squares again which means you can do some working out if you need it now I would have a look at the tens first. I would take the first number and take away the 20 from 21. 85 take away 20. Two fingers up, let's count back in tens. 85, 75, 65. Well done. Then I will take the 65 and take the 1 away from the 21. 65 take away 1. Not 65 take away 10. 65 take away 1 is 65 in our head. 64 okay so the answer is 64 you could have also worked out that 8 tens take away 2 tens is 6 and 5 ones take away 1 1 is 4 64 well done number 24 1 third of 12 or 12 divided by 3 now some of you have learned learning 3 times tables you could count in 3's here to see how many times you say 3 till you get to 12 3 6 9 9 9 12 or you could look at the fraction and if in doubt draw it out so one third we share in between three you need to draw yourself three boxes let's find how many we would put in each box let's divide 12 equally by three let's split 12 into three equal groups one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 11 12 so the bottom number the denominator of the fraction tells you how many boxes to share it between we've done that the top number the numerator tells us how many boxes we need to look in so the top number in the in the fraction a third is one how many dots in one box one two three four one third of twelve or twelve divided by three is four well done fantastic leave me a like if you got most of those right see you next time